Hi everyone, here we have the uh, XPS M1730 as you may have seen from my uh, other videos we've uh, already unboxed this previously uh, we've already had a look at the ports on this laptop um, and the keyboard and so on but let's just have a more detailed look at the bottom of the laptop uh, something other reviewers generally don't tend to mention and I've had quite a review quite a few requests to uh, discuss the bottom of the laptop so here we go here's the bottom as we can see we've got two big uh, intake fans there we've got so you can see the two uh, fans inside for the GPUs not sure if you can see them on camera um, but the, there are two fans just there which uh, are straight on the the GPUs um, we've got as you see there, there's the two intake fans to cool the rest of the unit down um, the only other, other, other interesting parts to mention at the bottom here, we've, we've got the 9 cell battery across the bottom here and the battery test meter just there. Um, also we've got the RAM chips in a panel here. Uh, interesting point to note is that both RAM chips are actually in the panel down the bottom, uh, so there's no RAM chips under the actual keyboard. Uh, what I'll do, I'll uh, quickly open them up so uh, you can actually have a look. So it's just two screws holding the chips in place. Okay, if I take that off, as you can see there, you've got two round chips. You've got your first one at the top and your second one just underneath there. Um, in this particular model, we've got four gig of RAM, so we've got uh, both of these are two gig uh, sticks. Uh, you've got your normal brackets on each side, uh, your normal two levers there, uh, which you pull apart to actually take the RAM chips out and replace them if you wish. Okay, I'm just going to put this back on. And uh, once I've screwed this tight, we'll have a look at where the hard drive sits. That's that. Another point to mention, you've got a screw just there, that's to release your optical drive. So if you do want to change your optical drive, you undo that screw there and the optical drive slides out. You slide the new optical drive in and then just tighten up the screw and uh, that's your optical, optical drive. Uh, if I just move the laptop slightly more across here so you've got a better view of the hard drive bay. Um, you got your two cylinder shapes next to the screws so you know this is where the hard drive uh, is going to be. If I just open this up for you, you can have a look at uh, the actual hard drive bay. There we go. So there's a the hard drive bay there. You've got a little blue tab on this side which you can, uh, you can pull up and remove the hard drive. You've got another four screws on each side. Uh, so it's one two, three and four. Um, what that will do, that will release the hard drive caddy. You've got your SATA connector there. So once them four screws have been released, uh, you pull up on this blue tab here and it releases the entire caddy from the uh, laptop. You can then release the ribbon cable connecting it to the main board and stick new hard drives in as you wish. You've got the capacity for two hard drives in this model, so one sits above, you can see this one's above, but there's a, a space in the caddy for another one below. Um, I'm just going to close that up. If you take a look at our other videos, there will shortly be a video uploaded uh, which, in which we'll actually remove the entire hard drive caddy, we'll replace the one hard drive that's in there at the moment with another two hard drives, and uh, we'll set up a RAID configuration. Um, so I'll take you through that step by step, but there you go. That's the uh, that's the underside of the XPS M1730.